Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for April the 9th of 2021. Well, it is titled Messier 106. So what do we see here? Well, this is one of the objects that was in in the catalog of Charles Messier back in the 1700s who cataloged objects that did not look like stars. So things that were a little bit fuzzier in the, through the small telescopes of the time. So of course, he would not have been able to see near the amount of detail that we are seeing here, but would have seen a fuzzy patch in the sky that may have resembled a comet. So tracking it and noting that its position did not change allowed it to be removed from a list of possible comets so that people would not have to keep checking it each time and watching for its motion. Now, this is an example of a spiral galaxy. And when we look at a spiral galaxy, we see distinct spiral arms coming out. And the spiral arms are dominated by two things. They're both a red and a blue color. The red is from hydrogen gas, which is excited by the hot stars within the spiral arms. So those stars emit a lot of ultraviolet radiation, which energizes and ionizes the hydrogen. And when it recombines together with its electrons, it gives off distinct colors of light. And a very prominent one of those being the red color. And we see that as the pink color in the image here throughout those spiral arms. We also see a lot of blue star clusters. So those blue clusters of stars are also very young. And that's because many of those stars don't live for a very long time. So in order to see them, they had to have formed recently. If we wish to think about it, if a star lives for 10 million years, which is typical for many blue stars, then it had to have formed within the last 10 million years in order for us to see it today. Otherwise, it would have already gone through its life and would no longer exist. So the fact that we see them around today tells us that stars have formed in this galaxy in the last 10 million years or so. Now this is also an example of what is called a Seifert galaxy. A Seifert is a type of active galaxy and is a spiral galaxy with an unusually active nucleus. So likely what is happening is that there is a central black hole at the center of this galaxy. And in this galaxy, unlike a typical galaxy, that black hole is being fed. More material is being fed into that black hole. And as material falls into the black hole and spirals around it, it can release a lot of energy. So the energy in active galaxies like this one is that black hole at the center. And we can see it either being active as an case like Messier 106 or not being active in a galaxy typical to our own. So that was our picture of the day for April the 9th of 2021. It was titled Messier 106. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.